We are getting so good at that. Good morning. <laughs> when did we put the trash can here? Honey, that's Charles. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> ah, here's the orange juice I was looking for. Morning, fam. Kitchen's open for breakfast. Put in your orders. I'm on the sale day, I want French toast. And I'll have a breakfast. Breakfast burrito with extra cheese. Hold the taters. Same as always. Same as always? <laughs> you eating that or just looking at it? Because I could use more protein. <laughs> Dad must have been so caught up making us breakfast that he forgot his work stuff. Luna, will you run Dad's laptop up to him? And leave my breakfast sandwich with you animals? That's an egg, dude. <laughs> I'll do it. I trust you guys. You guys, not cool. As the oldest, I totally get her sandwich. Hey, you guys, don't forget my golf tournament's this afternoon. You're all going to be there to support me, right? Oh, yeah. Better believe it. And after that, you're all coming to my charity fashion show, right? I know. Yeah. Yeah. And after that, don't forget my grave digging competition. Oh, I can yeah. Yeah. What's all this? Oh, this? Well, I just wanted breakfast to be extra special since, you know... <laughs> Everyone's growing up and moving on! <laughs> I know, honey, but we promised we would hold it together for the kids. Kids! Breakfast! Breakfast is... I can't do it! I can't do it! <laughs> I got this. Kids, breakfast! <laughs> <laughs> I need it! I need it! What's with the confounded whistle? I'm just getting some practice in. Principal Ramirez made me hall monitor this year, and I will not let her down. I was born to carry this badge. Ah, loud! That's strike two! <laughs> huh? You're not on duty yet. Now everybody in for breakfast. Don't. Your dad worked all morning on a special family meal, and we are going to enjoy it together. Do you want to break that man's heart? It's fine. I'll just clear these and do the dishes. Or can you spare a minute? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 59 and 60. It's been a minute. <sighs> Those kids. I know. Sometimes they can be... So ding ding thoughtful! <laughs> I can't imagine. Hey, guys! Anyone seen my bus pass? Did you check your purse? Thanks! I got it! Did someone take the credit card? Check your purse! Oh, right! Wait, my shopping list! The purse, woman! Coulottes, jeans, pom-pom sweater... Going shopping, Lenny? Not mm. just shopping. Ryan Gers is having a huge two-day, 25% off blowout sale. And I made up a dream shopping list for it. Yay, new wardrobe! Yes. Good luck! Happy Yay. Sailing. Yay. Oh, shoot! Where did I put my purse? Check your arms! Oh, Tibbs on the one that looks like Lily! Hey, no fair! I wanted the Lily one. <laughs> I guess I'll help myself. Yeah! Now you see them, now you don't! Shazam! Thanks! That was delicious. <laughs> Dang it, Lenny! Wait, I wasn't done with my act. But why am I still hungry? I hope you're ready for more magic. The middle school talent show is this week, and I need to keep practicing. Ah! Huh? Ah! Hmm? Ta-da! Surprised gasp. Hey, Houdini! Where are the pancakes? It wasn't me that time. <laughs> I see my new mail system is working swimmingly. <laughs> mm. Lana, what are you hiding? Uh, is that another note from Principal Huggins about bathing more frequently? No, he gave up on that. It's an invitation to a sleepover my friend Kayla's having. But as all of you know, I'm really bad at sleepovers. Oh, honey, you're not bad at them. You've just never made it through one. 
I always get so homesick. Sleeping in someone else's house, on their pillows, smelling their smells. I prefer my own smells. <gasps> we don't. And what if I have a nightmare? It's just too much for me. But Lana, don't you want to go to Kayla's? You guys always have so much fun together. Of course I want to go. My other friends Kristen and Ashley are going to be there too. But I'm hopeless. I won't last 30 minutes. Maybe we can help you. We all have experience with sleepovers. Maybe we can show you some tricks that will get you over the homesickness. Good idea, Lincoln. We could have a few practice runs and work up to the big night. I'm in. I'll assist as well. Okay, I'll do it. Ahem. Anyone care to explain this? <gasps> Are those your special glasses? Oh, oh I feel lie. so bad. Lie, lie, lie. What is that? I anticipated pushback to my effort to stamp out lying, so I created a backup system of lie detecting cameras. You'll find them conveniently located in every room of the house. Not for long. <laughs> I anticipated this as well. Hence, the protective shields. This isn't right, dude. You can't just force this on us. It may sting at first, but eventually you'll see I'm doing this for your own good. Ugh. Do these eggs seem... Soggy? I kind of like them. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh Dad? <sighs> Sorry, kids. I just got the email that every adult dreads. <gasps> what happened? When's the funeral? Camp Mastodon, my old family camp, is closing. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like an after breakfast problem. <laughs> what? You know I'm more sympathetic on a full stomach. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Who had the breakfast burrito wrapped in a cozy tortilla with fluffy egg pillow? That's three nights in a row Millie's kept us up. My beauty is delicate. I can't handle another night without sleep. Poor Lily. Still having bad dreams? Aww, ass. What's going on in that noggin of yours, little dude? <laughs> My Cal Lynn Mari? I don't get it. Dang it! The rumbles tonight, and there's no way I can sing like this. What am I gonna do? Oh, I know what would cure those. An anti-hiccup elixir. Yeah, if only someone would invent one. No. Come on, Sibs. One of you has to know how to get rid of my... Please, you gotta help me. Ah, oh, Luna. You know we're hick up for it. But first things first. Everybody hurry and eat while she's down. Here you go, honey. Daddy's homemade peach puree. Yay! So, just to review, I'm Daddy. This is my peach puree, and I made it just for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. If you like it now, wait till I put sprinkles on it. Sure, they're bad for her teeth, but I'm waging a war here. Uh, Lily? Dada! Dada! Dang it! Dad, it sounds like you're getting worse. You've got to let me help you. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm just dehydrated. <laughs> See? Much better. didn't have any babysitting jobs this weekend either? Nope. Didn't get a single call. Me yeah, either. No. Weird. Maybe we should check in with our clients. Hi, Mrs. Lewis. Hi, Mr. Santini. Hey, Mr. Gads. Hi, Mrs. Dunscombe. <laughs> Lynn did what? <sighs> I can't believe this. Not only did she steal our jobs, she lost us four more clients. We have to tell her this stops now. We can tell her, but will she listen? You know how she is. What if we can get her to want to quit babysitting? How would we do that? Easy! Get her to sit for the worst kids in Royal Woods! The Fox Quintuplets! Hey, 
Hey, kiddo. Just about to start on your burrito. Actually, Dad, I was thinking biscuits and gravy today. With hot sauce, please. Oh, oh spicing things up. I like it. And now we return for our next segment, For Whom the Belgian Waffle Tolls. <laughs> oh, waffle puns. You gotta love them. Huh? And now, viewers, we're going to reveal the secret ingredient to our raspberry waffle recipe. The secret ingredient is this. Oh, I missed the secret ingredient to the raspberry waffles. Well, come to think of it, it's probably just raspberries. Mom says first thing, we got to feed her. Here, you put her in the high chair and I'll get her food. <laughs> Open up the hangar, Lily. Here comes the airplane. <laughs> okay, a little turbulence. Here, let me try. <laughs> Looks like she doesn't want to eat. She's just a baby, Clyde. We can make her eat. I mean, how hard could it be? <laughs> you know, I read in this book called A Food for Tot that if you show the baby you like the food, she'll like it too. Why were you reading a baby book? I was waiting to see my therapist. Her lobby has a great reading selection. Lincoln! Are you coming to my charity fashion show? It's for a great cause. Oysters without pearls. Honey, no! He'll ruin your fashion show just like he ruined my winning streak. He's bad luck. Oh, come on, Lynn. That is absolutely true. I think I may be onto something here. Lenny, I'd love to go to your fashion show, but I'd hate for my bad luck to make you trip or jam a zipper or break a heel. <gasps> the horror! Maybe you should sit this one out. I'll be there in spirit. Yep, just eating some raw fish for breakfast. Pretty wild, huh? Meh, not in Japan. How about covered in syrup? <laughs> 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 There she is, the winner of the Junior Comedians Contest. Oh, I owe it all to you guys. Lincoln, thanks for stinking on purpose so I'd get up on stage. Uh, yes, on purpose, of course. We think you're really funny, and we're proud of you. We're sorry we said that harsh stuff about you. Thanks, that means a lot. And I know I can be a little bit much sometimes. I'll try to tone it down. Oops. Go ahead, you can say it. Your breakfast is toast, and that's no yoking matter. If you scramble, you can make another. It's good to have you back. Hey, why are you heading for the exit? I'm faking you to come back. <laughs> I cracked myself up. 